Good morning, Hope Savara here. I welcome you to join me for this great 20 minute warm up routine, um, a great yoga class for early morning yogis or maybe for a midday stretch. I will adapt these postures for more of the um, stiffer body as well as someone that's a little bit more flexible. So hopefully you can find a range that meets your needs. Let's begin in tabletop position. So hands and knees and wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Folds of the elbows will turn forward to really help broaden the upper back. On rolling your toes to start, just feel the spine nice, long, and sturdy. On the inhalation, toes roll under. Belly drops, yes, but I really want you to push up through the arms and move the sternum forward. Great, now as you exhale, round the spine, tuck your tail, chin to chest. We're not just pushing up into the shoulders, but I want you to lean back towards your heels, really dragging the tailbone forward between the legs. Now glide forward, inhale, belly drops, toes roll under, and sit bones spread open. Press lively through your arms. Exhale, round the spine, chin towards the chest, lean towards your heels. And again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Really notice the areas of the spine that maybe are a little bit more restricted. Inhale, and exhale. We can call this the uncat cow because it's not really the traditional cat cow. Two more. Inhale, look up under the eyelids, over exaggerate the space in the spine. Exhale, bow and round belly in. Last one, inhale. Notice the space of the neck and the openness of the sit bones. Exhale, round the spine. And then inhale back into a tabletop position. I'm going to turn towards you so you can kind of see what's going on here. Extend your left leg out to the left. Toes are forward. Foot is planted into the earth. So we really get this great stretch of the outer ankle. Keeping the thigh muscle lightly toned. Hands on the floor, broaden through the back. Again, folds of the elbows forward. Exhale, sit towards your back heel as you lower your forearms to the floor, and then inhale, float back up again. And again, exhale, belly is firm, sit back, and inhale, come back up again. So as you sit back, you're feeling work through the inner adductor, possibly hamstring, and glute of your right leg. Good, exhale, sit back, only as far as you can go, maybe you're only going to go halfway, and inhale, rise back up. Exhale, use your breath. And inhale up five more. Exhale five. And inhale, paying close attention to how your body feels. Exhale four. And inhale up. Nice work. Exhale three. And inhale, encouraging your body to make more and more space. Exhale two. And inhale up. Last one, exhale, breathe, soft shoulders, and inhale, float up. I'm going to turn over to the side again so you can see another profile. Extending now what would be your right leg out to the right, foot anchors into the floor, so really great work. Again, we're hopefully with our shoes off. Foot is anchored into the mat, back is nice and lively. Exhale, sit back towards the heel, and inhale, coming back up. Good. Now, if you notice, you kind of go slack in your foot and you sit back, you're not going to feel as much work through the leg as if you were to really anchor through the foot. Now, if you're feeling sensation in the knee, I want you to ask yourself, am I forcing or am I allowing? Inhale, come back up. Exhale, sit back. And inhale, come back up. Stay with me. Firm thigh muscle. Exhale. And inhale, five more. Great job. Exhale, five. And inhale, exhale, four, really press your hips back. And inhale, exhale, three, now remember it's okay, it's only okay if you need to, go halfway and come back up. Exhale, two, each time gets a little bit easier. And inhale, up, last one, exhale, and inhale, rise back up. Great job, swing the leg around, back into tabletop position. Pause here, notice the body. 
Knees go wide now, sit back towards your heels and have the intention to really press your sit bones back towards your heels, helping to spread the glutes wide. Arms reach forward, head drops heavy, chest sinks between the thighs. Now for those of us that are tighter in the hips, if needed, feel free to slide a block to sit on. And then you can also, if necessary, rest your forehead on a block. If you find that maybe there's a big gap between you and the floor, let's take at least three more good breaths here. Inhale, walk your arms actively forward, draw your shoulders back. If you can, turn your palms up to broaden your upper back even more. Now palms turn down, inhale, rise back up, tabletop. Let's roll the toes under, move into standing forward bend. So walk your feet in or walk your hands back. Since this is our first forward fold here for the practice, I do not want you to lock and straighten the legs, especially for those of us that are stiffer. We end up hanging in the middle of the back, which for many of us, this is already our posture during the day, and we can kind of wreak havoc on our lower lumbar. So bend your knees, and you should notice an increase in length in your lower spine as you give a bend to the knees. Now grab opposite elbows and draw the elbows towards the floor as you hollow your belly, making space in your lower back again. Inhale through the nose, now tuck the chin in. Exhale, imagine as though the spine continues over the head, around to the actual forehead. Exhale, weight is even on your feet. So even though your knees are subtly bent, just know you're still stretching the hamstrings, you're still working through the calf. If your body allows you to, and your chest and thighs can stay fairly tight together, slowly start to straighten the legs. Still keeping firm thigh muscles to help relax the hamstrings. But if the second you straighten the legs, this is you, I want you again to go back to bend the knees to feel the length increase in the spine. Let's go two more breaths here. Now hands on the shins, inhale, look forward, maybe smile. As you look forward, do not let the knees sink in. Think about hugging your sit bones and really leading out with your sternum. Exhale, belly hollows, draw yourself in. Bend your knees, roll up slowly. Head is the last thing to lift, stack your body nice and tall. Great job. Functional warrior one with a calf stretch. So stepping towards the top of your mat, we'll step back with your right foot. So right foot's gonna step back, feet are gonna be hips distance, and the toe and the heel are gonna be pointing in the direction of your mat. So check your back foot. This isn't traditional warrior one, where the foot is angled. I want you to turn the heel directly forward. This alone is a great balance challenge. Now square the hips, and in doing so, if you feel really unsteady, go near a wall or grab a chair to help with stability, and you can slowly take that hand off of that support as needed. Pelvic neutral. That means pubis bone and hip bones are parallel with the wall that you're facing. I'm going to use my hands on my hips just as a nice marker and a reminder. Exhale, bend your front knee so that the knee is over the ankle. Still keeping heavy weight in the back heel, the back heel does not lift off the floor. You're going to create a nice stretch point on either end of the muscle, keeping the heel on the mat. As you exhale, keeping a strong belly, let's bend the back knee and inhale, straighten up again. Exhale, bend the back knee. Notice how I don't really move in my front leg too much. And inhale, straighten back up. Exhale, bend. And inhale, straighten. The stride is feeling modest. Exhale, bend. And inhale, straighten. Nice job. Watch my heel. It's staying on the floor. And inhale, straighten. Five more. Exhale, bend. And inhale, straighten. Stay tall. Exhale, bend. And inhale, straighten. Each one gets a little bit easier. Exhale, bend. And inhale, straighten. Let's do two more. Exhale, bend. And inhale, straighten. Last time. Nice job. Exhale, bend. Let's just hold this one. Three, two, one. And inhale, release. Step up with the back foot. Let's switch sides. So nice little balance challenge transition. And when you step back, what you're probably noticing is that the heel automatically internally rotates. 
For most of us, it's a good sign, again, our outer hips are tighter, we do a lot of sitting, and then for a lot of us, our activities are things that are just tightening the hips more. So a great alignment opportunity and stretch opportunity is to turn that back foot forward. And if you're like me, I just turn the heel out neutral, and I'm already noticing a calf stretch. All right, neutral pelvis, hips are forward, ground through the front foot, bend your front knee. Now, if your stride is too wide, you're going to bend the front knee and the back heel is going to want to lift, or the heel can stay down, but there's really not a whole lot of wiggle room for you to bend the back knee. Longer does not equal better in this particular movement. All right, here we go. Exhale, bend the back knee, and inhale, straighten. Great. Belly is strong. Exhale, bend the knee. Pelvic floor is strong. Inhale, straighten. Now, for some of us, we're feeling all of this stretch on the outside of the ankle and shin and calf, that anterior tibialis. For others of us, we're feeling it around the knee, possibly the ankle, front of the shin or calf. So pretty much 360 of that lower leg. And straighten. Exhale, bend, stand tall, belly is strong, inhale, straighten. My hands could be on a chair in front or off to the side if needed. Four more. Exhale, bend four. Keep your heel down as you bend the knee. Exhale, three, and straighten. Exhale, two and straighten. Last one, bend. Let's hold this one. Four, three, two, one, and straighten. Let's step up with the back foot. Now, for some of you that may have more longer or not as restrictive calves, internally rotate the back foot slightly. I'm not talking 45 degrees or even 90, but just a subtle internal rotation, you're going to find that maybe you're able to turn on that restriction that's deeper than maybe most people are or is not as abrupt. All right, let's continue. Warrior two. Feet are open to about a leg's length. So I have a 68 inch mat here, so you can notice that my stride is fairly long. It's almost the length of a mat. So the more open your hips are, the longer the stride. Also, typically for taller people, even though you may be tighter, you're maybe noticing that you generally have your stride fairly small, but your capabilities are much wider than what you thought. So really pay attention to the length of your stride here. We'll start by turning out to the left. So left toes turn out, right toes turn in. And the whole idea of heel to center arch, um, I don't want to say throw that out the window. It's a great guideline, but don't take that literal. Especially for people with tighter hips, you're just going to set yourself up into a lot of knee trouble. So it's a range. Bring the front heel within reason of the back big toe and the heel. Somewhere within there is your neutrality. Hips are going to open to the length of your mat. So there's that neutral again. My hips are headlights forward towards you. Now as I exhale, bend the front knee, here's my first checkpoint for my stride. If my front knee is waltzing way over my heel, I'm going to lengthen my stride a little bit. But also paying attention to the anchoring of the back leg. Heel to here, the heel is further the back than the big pinky toe. And the thigh muscle is firm. Make sure you're not spilling out your identity center, your belly, but you're keeping some core control and the lower portion of the glutes is activated. Now exhale, drop into the depth of your hips, challenging the openness of the groin. You may be feeling a lot of work through the adducts or the inner thigh on the back leg. Also contraction on the outer hips and thighs. You should be able to see your big toe on the inside of the knee. Now finally, arms rise up, check both arms. Sometimes what we feel like is level with the shoulders is anything but that. So just pay attention. Shoulders drop down, but arms are firm. It's like I would come and press on your arms, offering resistance. Now, full rotation on the head and neck, looking out over the left middle finger. Inhale, lengthen with, again, out spilling the belly or lifting the chest too much. Exhale, drop into your hips. Challenge the openness. Inhale through the nose. Great. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Find steadiness within your mind. Notice if you're wandering mentally, even though you may be physically still. Now on your next inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, hands to namaste. Turn the feet parallel, pause here, and let's move to the opposite side. So now your right toes are going to turn out, my left toes. 
my back set of toes are going to turn slightly in. Try not to focus so much on being symmetrical because we often carry different issues on each side. So treat this warrior two as its own. Level the hips and open them towards me. And again, we're going to take it nice and slow. Bend your front knee, anchoring and firming your back leg. Now, if you look closely at your back heel, we're not curling the outer edge of the foot into the floor. I want you to feel the entire sole of the foot firm on the mat, and the ankle looks neutral on an angle, rather than kind of rolled and bumped out. So just pay attention to those little things. Those matter. Open and level the hips. Strong inner belly and pelvic floor. Now bend your front knee, look at the knee, and see if it's over the ankle. We're just really dropping into the depth of the hips. I'm drawing into my front foot, but I can still see my big toe on the inside of the knee. Stack the spine, arms rise up, inhale, firm your biceps, and firm your upper back without slamming your shoulder blades in towards the spine. Now full rotation on the head and neck, rather than just turning to the side. Exhale, drop into the hips. Comfortable yet challenging. Inhale through the nose. And exhale, soft face and eyes, soft jaw. So as you hold warrior two, use the back arm and back oblique to help take your rib cage even more open. So you don't have this huge jot forward with your right rib, or sorry, your left rib and your left hip. Try to utilize that core strength to open the chest just a little bit more. Inhale, exhale. Warrior two is an opportunity to stay in the moment. The past is in the past, the future is in the future. You are here right now. Let's take three to four more breaths. Inhale, nice job, straighten the front leg. Exhale, hands to prayer. Feet turn parallel. Bend your knees and walk your feet in. Great job. 